Hello there, here's a video on how to change the defense faction members uh, attribute in, uh, for a faction. Uh, there's currently no way of doing that in 1.12 now, but under here, the defense faction member, this can be set to yes or no. But you can change it with NBT. You can change just about anything with NBT data. Um, and here's a simple example of how to use NBT data to change things. Now then, each one of these NPCs has a script in them in the initialization and it gets their UUID number and it stores it in a world data variable by their name. So each one of those has that in there and that's how this guy here accesses um, each one of them. So in here I have this dialog and I can change his defense faction to yes or no. So right now they're all no. I'll change his to yes. So if I go into survival and hit this guy, uh, you can see both of those guys will attack me now. Now if I go back here again and change it back to no, well, even though he's standing behind me, well, he seems to be still, still stuck on targeting me here. So I need to just reset them. And so if I go here now and attack him, there, I wasn't, he will not attack me, the other guy. So how this, excuse me, how this dialogue works here is there's three dialogues, 60, 59, 58 and you read the dialogue, then you unread it to make it um, not available next time so it can pick which dialogue was actually read. Uh, then you can access the NPC by the getEntity method and you give them the variable which is a UUID. So that's the NPC alt atl, atl? <laughs> and then you get the entity NBT. So once you have that, depending on which option you choose um, of the dialogue, the first one is slot 0, the second one slot 1, and then you can change the defend faction attribute. And this is a byte uh, variable. Uh, and I'm not going to show you how you get the different, there's different um, types of uh, data. They're either, they could be byte or uh, list or an array or different type numeric formats or string, but um, this is a byte one and it's either going to be a one or a zero, yes or no. And then once you set that to either one or zero, then you get the NPC again and then you set its entity data to that. And uh, that seems kind of redundant, but that's the way you do it. So that's how this dialogue works and uh, you can also could put this in a scripted block or some sort of quest type thing and you could even use get surrounding entities to uh, to uh, do this so uh, I set the middle guy to defense so if I hit this guy here then both of them will attack me so that's how that works um, thanks for watching